let's see basic terms of accounting so first we have to know about what is accounting so accounting is a process of recording day-to-day -day business transaction in monetary terms so this process is of collecting summarizing analysis and inter, uh, and reporting so what we have to collect we have to collect our financial data data of business then we have to summarize it analyze it and we have to prepare reports of our business transactions which we can count in monetary terms why accounting why there is need of accounting so the first purpose or first objective of accounting is to assert ascertainment of profit and loss for a specific period so for any business it is must to know the profit or loss for a specific period in accounting that specific period is called as financial year it starts from 1st april and ends on 31st march second information about financial positions of business financial position means on a particular date how many assets are there and how many liabilities are there both term we will discuss in our next slides our first basic term is business so business is any activity or enterprise entered into for profit means any organization which is established for earning profits okay second term is goods goods are those commodity in which a trader deals means that trader it may be a shopkeeper it may be a manufacturer it may be a producer so any commodity he is producing for the purpose of selling that time that com uh, commodity is called as goods in this slide we can see the various types of commodities like some groceries are there some cloths telephone uh, watches teddy bear mixer juicer television bread butter chair yes furniture furniture for the shop of furniture shop it is a type of goods okay so we have to use this term goods not good so goods is the term which is used in accounting for a commodity in which a trader deals next is capital most of the time we are confused with this term what is the meaning of capital so actually capital means when owner of a business brings from his own property this is most important thing he has to bring the things from his own property from his own assets so which are the things first is cash he can bring cash he can bring goods from his own household or any other asset for business purpose for example if he brings rupees 1 lakh to start business from his own property that time that 1 lakh rupees is called as his capital if he utilize his private van for delivering the products delivering the goods and the title of that van is transferred from him to the business that time it is also called as capital so i think you are okay with this term next is drawings when owner withdraw actually drawing is a opposite concept of capital in capital owner brings the things in business in drawing he is withdrawing things from business so he suppose he withdraw cash for his personal use for example for his daughter's uh, school fees so that time it is called as drawings any other asset any other asset suppose he uh, withdraw some goods for his personal use so he is not going to pay for these goods he is 
just bringing that goods for his personal use that time it is also called as drawings next term is transaction transaction is any business activity which involves buying or selling of goods or services for monetary value the main thing is buying or selling when the trader buys some goods from the wholesaler that time it is called as transaction same time or in same way when he sell the goods to any other party that time it is also called as transaction second major thing we have to consider that is monetary value if it is relate with monetary value or we can count it in monetary value that time we can call it as a transaction some exemptions are there for transactions means if there is only exchange without any value benefit that time it is not called as transaction so majorly there are two types of transaction we are generally used first is cash transaction cash transaction means when we are dealing in cash only that time it is called as cash transaction cash means through the bank or through the cash both uh, type of transactions are covered under cash transaction credit transactions means when we purchase goods on our credit that means we are not going to pay at the same time that time it is called as credit transaction means we are purchasing goods on 27th february for rupees 2000 and we are going to pay the amount in next month that time that transaction is called as credit transaction next term is assets so generally we are using this term in our routine practice but in accounting we are going to consider asset is any own thing which can gives return in future means any own thing which is owned by the business and which is going to give you returns in future returns in the term of money or any productive thing like the motor car if we are using that motor car for our daily purpose that time it is called as our asset any land any building computer money cash furniture all these are counted as an asset because we are getting something from these assets next <clears throat> some types of assets we are not going to discuss about the other types that is current asset and fixed asset we are going to discuss about these two types first is tangible asset so tangible assets or tangible things means which can be seen and touch first is cash we can see we can see cash we can touch furniture building land car computer all these are covered under this head that is tangible asset sir sir what about intangible assets intangible assets can't be seen or touch that means goodwill goodwill means goodwill means a reputation of business which we can calculate in the terms of money patent patent trademark copyright these all are our <coughs> intellectual properties so we can consider all these things under this said intangible assets next term is debt debt means an amount owed for funds borrowed so when we borrowed funds and we have to return that funds to the third party that time it is called as debt debtors a debtor is a person company or any organization who owes money to us means he has to give money to us for a previous transaction the opposite term of debtor is creditor means in a transaction one party become debtor and another party become creditor in this image we can see 
these things creditor sold goods to debtors and debtor purchased these things on credit therefore he become debtor and when he pays that payment to the creditor that time our transaction is being to going to close okay so creditor is a person or a company who have provided goods or services or loaned money to a debtor it is called as creditor next is discount as we all know discount is a reduction in the price of a product but in accounting we are using discount in two types first is trade discount so trade discount in its name itself says that trade means a business so the discount which is provided for the business purpose or trading purpose that time that discount is called as trade discount for example retailer gets discount for resale of goods means a pen costing rupees 5 the retailer purchase that pen at rupees 4 that time rupees 1 rupee 1 is called as a trade discount second type is cash discount cash discount is given by a trader or a wholesaler for prompt payment for immediate payment or the payment within a specific duration that time it is called as cash discount next is income we are using this word in our daily routine but here we have to be specific with the income and profit what is the difference between income and profit so income is money received in business operation that means if we sold goods of rupees 2500 2500 here rupees 2500 is known as income so the total revenue generated from that business operation is called as income so sir what is the difference between profit and income so by simple e equation we can state the difference between profit and income profit is a difference between income and expenditure means when our income is more than our expenditure that time we can called it as a profit if we purchase goods of rupees 2200 and sold for rupees 2500 that time our profit is rupees 300 so this is the difference between income and profit <clears throat> next concept is expenses so expenses or expenditure when we spend for something it is called as expenses in very simple word we can say that when we spend it is called as expenses means when we buy goods that time it is expenses when we paid for telephone bill it is called expenses when we paid salaries most of the time students are jumbled over here salary is our expenses not our income because we are <coughs> we are doing accounting for business not for salaries person for therefore salary is our expenses so now what is loss when our expenses are more than our income that time it is called as loss it is opposite term of profit and second concept of loss is if amount spent is not utilized fully that time it is called as loss means loss by fire loss by theft if my motorcycle is stolen by the theft that time it is called as loss okay thank you for this we uh, watching this video now we in next video we are going to discuss about what is double entry accounting system types of accounts and three golden rules of accounting thanks for watching